Hello, welcome to my channel. I'd like to show you some vintage Halloween. I'd like to introduce you to my two helpers, Broke and Busted. So, have a look. I've been buying Halloween for 30, 40 years, and it's almost impossible to find it nowadays. I've gone to garage sales auctions or private people, and you can find things online, but you got to be careful of the reductions or reproduction faces, putting old pumpkins. But these are mainly paper mache. This is a larger pumpkin. It's got a good face to it. It's interesting to see the expressions in all the faces. They paid 20 cents for this one. See that? That good color. A little dusty. I'm not a real good housekeeper, but I do what I can. Here's a smaller one. I'd show you the insides, but I got paper in there to hold the faces up. This one has a uh, candle holder insert. I think that's uh, Pulp Reproduction Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Made in USA. This here is a smaller one. It's got the original face, kind of faded. Got some damage. Even though some of these are damaged or paint loss, they're still desirable. You just don't find this stuff anymore. It's amazing that it survived. These here are what I think are spun cotton. I think they use these for parties, Halloween parties or school parties. I think it says Japan on it. It's kind of neat. See them or not? Here's a black cat. It's got the original face. It's kind of faded out. I used to see a lot of these 30 years ago. You don't see them anymore. Everything kind of just dried up. I think they paid 15 cents for this, looks like. Here's an owl. I'm not sure what this was. If it was a candy container or a light one in there. It's kind of rough. It's some holes poked into it and missing an eye. It's kind of unusual. Here's another smaller pumpkin. Again, I try to pick up the better stuff with the faces in them. Try to stay far away from reproductions. Unless that's what you plan on buying. I'm no expert on this stuff, but try to learn as I go. There's a witch. I think this is a candy container maybe. That's a little damage. Paid 15 cents for that.
there's a large pumpkin. This has got kind of like a paper bag face to it. <clears throat> I, excuse me, I thought that was uh, a reproduction, but I've seen ones, original ones with that in it. This came from auction. Came out with local estate. It's got some real nice color to it. Here's another large pumpkin. This is a really good shape. I bought this at an auction 30, around 30 years ago. Paid $75 for it. I thought that was a lot of money back then. But now I'm glad I bought it. It's almost impossible to find them in this kind of shape. Bottom's got the candle insert candle holder insert here's another small one This piece here is kind of unusual. You don't see a lot of these. I bought this from a moving sale. A woman had advertised a few of these pieces. And I got home with it and found out that they cut the bottom of it off. I looked in a book. It showed it had a base. But I kept it anyway because these are just rare, hard to come by. I said if you go to auctions now and try to find this stuff, people just run you so high you take takes all the fun out of it. Here's a I think it's a candy container. I think they paid fifteen cents for this. It's got a wire tail. I got this at a farm sale. It was like in a box. People didn't even know what it was. I think I got it for, I don't know, $5 maybe. Possibly could be made in Germany. I think it says October 1920 something. Not sure. It's hard to read it. These here are little candy containers. Oops. I think they had set these on the tables at parties, school parties, or just Halloween parties. They don't have nothing in the bottom, losing all of them, but these are plastic. I think these went on cupcakes or something. Here's a witch. See that? Cat. My camera is not the best, so bear with me. And there's a little cat. Here's a ten. Little pumpkin. I'm guessing this could be out of the 70s. It's got a hole in the bottom. It's got holes in the eyes, nose. I'm not sure what this was for. They have it on a stick or something, maybe. I'm not. It's got some neat lithos on it. Seems like the older tin toys have neater lithos. They kind of progressed through the years. And last is this devil. 
It's got the original face. I bought this from people that were moving. I advertised in the paper. And I bought this and some die cuts and a few jack-o'-lanterns. And I'll try to show them on another video. I'm going to try to make several parts of Halloween. I got, like I said, 30, 40 years worth. So stop by and take a look. But this is just a real nice piece been weathered, paint's gone. This is kind of neat to drive by back in the day and see these sitting on people's porches. Looks like they set a candle and you can see the wax. Sometimes that's how you can tell original ones, but you can be fooled by that too. I said I'm no expert. I can get burned just like anybody else on this stuff. They're so, you know, they do a really good job of faking stuff nowadays. I try to get some information where I'm buying it from and do the best you can. But that wraps this one up. Thanks for watching and have a great evening.